My area of interest is persistence and retention in developmental math students. Retention and persistence are very important in higher education because the research tells us that being successful in developmental mathematics classes is strongly correlated with persisting to a degree or certificate. So we know that our classes are a critical link in the process of, of getting to those goals. I'm interested in persistence and retention just because I know that my students struggle with it. And if I can make a difference as a classroom teacher, that helps me feel like I'm making, that my job's important. There's a lot of um, foundation initiatives and big um, grants for persistence, but I teach at a school where we aren't big enough to get any of those grants, and we're not in an urban area, so I really need to feel like I can make a difference at a classroom level, and I do. And so that really, that's why I'm, uh, I want to know as much as I can about it. I continue to stay very interested in new research and, and new talks about persistence and retention because I know it's critically important for my students. I also really get energized by trying new things and so when you try something and students and it works and you see students get it and keep it, retain it as they go from one day to the next, you go, wow, that's really cool. What else could I try? How could I change this? Um, what can I do? differently in some other area to make that happen. Ideas about persistence and retention have changed me from being a teacher that just does mathematics to a teacher that thinks about the whole student and the, the ways that I can uh, integrate students into the community, the culture of college as a whole. It also, I, I tend to, it goes with my personality, but I tend to do group work and pair work. Not all, I lecture, um, but I try to look for active learning opportunities because I know that that helps students feel to make connections between each other and with me. The advantages of active learning are that students are engaged and can't be passive. Uh, they're used to being engaged in social media and in technology, so by involving them in the learning process, rather than just being passive lis listeners, I think they learn better, I think they stay on task better, and we know that if they can, in that process, if they communicate their understandings, that they are actually doing more critical thinking. And so I think that active learning helps them understand the mathematics, the conceptual basis of the mathematics better. Uh, our student body is about 4,000 people, and we really don't have enough students to do a decent research project. What I'd love to do is to have a school or schools that we're adopting that would be willing to, to serve as control groups so that we could see the difference between students that use the student success materials and students that did not. I would love to know if there's a strong actual causal relationship. We, we see the correlation, we just aren't sure and we need more students to see that happen. I'm excited to, to have more class tests and more people adopting and seeing people get excited about it because you know I've poured a lot of energy into this and and I love the way it works for my students and I'm I'm just excited to see what happens